Riker's Iron presents. So guys, this is the last thing in my chest here before we do the big honkin' dragon. Bones 3 Stone Skull Expansion. For some reason my box was crushed. I don't know why. But, uh... Bones 3. Apparently, it has over 30 miniatures in this. And it's basically like if you pictured uh, Frankenstein's castle mixed with Grace, Castle Grayskull, that is what you get. Uh, but yeah, so the Bones... Uh, the Bones 2 stuff, I had some disappointing, um, like I was saying, the connection pieces. Stuck on Pandora, thank you for the host, man. I uh, I definitely appreciate it. I, uh, Stuck on Pandora is an awesome video game streamer. He has very similar tastes in terms of uh, setting goals for oneself and pushing forward and always trying to improve. Uh, oh man, it's a single bag, but what a hefty bag. Look at that. Look at all that goodies. This will probably take us right up into 4 o'clock, and then we'll start painting Team Pigman. Oh man, look at all these guys. Thud, the hallmark of a good set. And a good set it is. Let's kick it off with this guy. Boom! Look at this. Look at the detail on this. This is, a, this is already starting to be probably one of my favorite expansions so far plus it's a lot of horror monsters and zombies and crazy things I also see some stuff James that you're gonna enjoy and I'm gonna show you one right now Shazam following along the Halloween theme that he enjoys thoroughly as do I you've got like a little stitch doll that's kinda of creepy it's got a lot of detail his face is nice it's like a little stitched up sock puppet looking thing it's got a patch on his stomach the mold lines are pretty good. There's no really shitty ones to deal with. They're pretty well hidden. Yeah, this is another Stitch Doll looking dude. Great detail on the mini. There's actually like a texture that kind of shows up a little bit. No annoying mold lines. Same thing with the face. Kind of detailed. Pretty sweet. And just to give you a size comparison between the last and the previous one. Boom. There it is. Let's grab something from the pile here. Looks like a wood golem or some sort of... Could be, I guess, maybe, it looks like wood. It's like a wood creature. It's going to be a fun, fun one to paint on stream here. Today's Bones 3 unboxing Kickstarter. We're on our second to last set. After this one, we're going to be opening the monster fucking dragon that we got. Look how big it is. It's apparently 12 inches high. It's a, it's a foot tall when it's, when it's built. So, we're going to be doing that soon. Crazy bull man. Great detail on this guy. Really good, actually. Look at the, look at the axe there. You can see it's like a little maze, like a classic... Mi uh, Minotaur. He's even got a little maze armor everywhere. He's got the shitty gap that we keep seeing. Which kind of sucks, but it's... I guess it's unavoidable with some of these heads and things. But we'll just fill him with green stuff. Just fill it with green stuff and move on. This guy's kind of cool. He looks like a... I guess like a castle guard or something. I like the detail on him. His face is pretty nice. He's a small mini, so it's it's good that he has some actual detail for once. He has the um, annoying arm mold line, but it's in flat areas, so it's okay. You can cut that off. It's pretty good. Oh! Feed me! Feed me now! Feed me! So this guy, he's a little fatty. It's Fatty McFaddington here. He's got some stitches all over him. His detail on his face is really nice, which is awesome. Which means uh, we can actually do some some good highlights and actual maybe some like a lazy eye or something. Oh, well, that's cool. He's like a Frankenstein Chubbs monster here. It's all stitched up. He's got like 
robotic parts and organs. Really cool. I love the the thing that goes all the way through here and up through them. It's really kind of cool detail. And the thing we mentioned earlier, the most obscure wear creature ever, the wear armadillo. <laughs> Available when when is this guy available? He is available uh, Says here I think he's available in the fall Yes, he's in the fall. Yeah This guy's available in the fall for those of you at home. We want to paint a wear on armadillo <laughs> But he's really detailed. He's really got good uh, like texture on his on his back he only has one really visible mold line on his tail here. It doesn't go across into his face, which is nice, which is also... It's got some good eye detail there. Got the stupid neck gap that we always see. Pretty awesome. This this expansion set... The bones also feel different on this. They feel a lot... Uh, I don't know, they feel different. I don't know if they were produced later with a new formula or something. But this guy's really detailed. His sword isn't bent like this. It's actually straight. Stuck on Pandora! Thank you for the donation of $6.73 Canadian. It was probably 5 bucks American. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have now have a $6, uh, sorry, six tickets in our giveaway queue for our mega mega swag giveaway at the end of the year. Thank you again for that very, very generous donation. We've had two great donations today uh, for our unboxing. I really appreciate it. It's gonna go to our Grimkin faction order, which is gonna happen in July. And we're gonna be customizing all the models for it. We're gonna be doing a Twisted Carnival theme for them. So I have a little bit of a fear of clowns, so I'm gonna be painting up clowns to uh, get over that fear a little bit. It's a little therapeutic at the same time. I really like this guy. I really like this adventurer, dude. My camera just got hit. There's another uh, little uh, castle guard. And guys, if you're out there watching, follow Stuck on Pandora. He's a great, great streamer. Does great quality content. Has some great YouTube stuff as well. And, uh, it's very interactive with, within his community and likes to expand it. I like this guy. He also has a, he's, I think, similar to this guard here. Like, they look almost like twins. Bobby Joe and Frankie Jean right here. Bobby Joe, Frankie Jean. So this guy is awesome. He's like the king daddy of these stitch these little stitch dolls, like see? Boom. This guy I really like. I love the burlap. You can actually see all the burlap uh, straps and stuff on the... I'll try to get some shadow in there so you can... You can see that. Look at that. It's really nice. And there's no... The set so far has been really... It feels differently. I don't know if they made it different, but there's been no shitty mold lines across key features. Like the, uh, like the earlier core set stuff. I don't even know what this is, but this is just like a, this is just a, this is like a flower. It's a giant man-eating flower. Another set piece, which is kind of cool. Could be a monster. Could be a cool thing to glue onto something. Like, uh, you have a bigger, bigger mini and it's another weird Venus flytrap looking thing. These could be really fun to paint. Grandpa Stitch, yeah, that's that's officially his name, Grant Grandpa Stitch. Adventurer, I guess, or maybe another one of those guard guys. He looks like he's like a zombie guard or something. He actually reminds me a bit of Ash from uh, Evil Dead, like his getup in the back, or um. Uh, what the hell's that game? I played it to death with the thong. Thong of virtue. Death Spank. He looks like Death Spank.
Really cool, I like this one. Got a bunch of stuff in bags, which I'll do last. It takes forever. Okay, so we have a ton of little imp looking things. They're like little itty bitty dragon people. They're not really detailed, their face, but their clothes are kind of nice. Their face leaves something to be desired, but... Oh, they're rats! They're rat people! They're little rat dudes. Just need a good chainsaw casting. <laughs> yeah. There's another group of those little rat dudes here. Their faces, like I said, not really that detailed. Kind of sucks. Their swords are doing that stupid bendy thing. But, um, if these are the weakest minis in the, in this set, friggin' worth it. Oh, yeah, I love these. Gremlins. Little friggin' gremlins. They got the little evil face on, although lightly detailed, enough to, for you to be able to paint something pretty sinister there. They remind me of demonic Mickey Mice. Pretty damn cool, I like it. And this is Titties McGee, apparently. He's got titties everywhere. Got some wings. I'm sure this will probably be a hot seller at some point. <laughs> She's a little bent, though. I would have liked the wings to be back a little further, like that. But I'll probably be able to fix that with the heating of the, of the mini and then bending it into position. But yeah, super detailed. It even has little stockings in there. The face, not as much detail as I would have liked, but it's enough to be able to do what you want. Clearly enough detail in the chest region. Overall, pretty sweet. I like that one. Okay, so let's dive into... Oh, this is probably going to be my favorite one in this set. Let me, let me get this open. Where's my scissors? This was one of the, the minis when they showed it that I wanted the most. And I'm so happy that I remembered that it's here. Okay, you're going to have to bear with me. There's a little bit of construction on this. It's a brain in a little friggin' canister with legs. I mean, I'm supposed to position that a little bit better, but... Or maybe it goes like this, actually. Oh yeah, it goes like that. Sorry, let me re redo this. Boom. It's a brain and a little canister. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to fill it with liquid? This guy's going to be on the, on the soon-to-be-painted queue. Fill it halfway with liquid kind of thing. I was going to say LED it, so it kind of glows in the water, but I don't know how I would do it with this one. Very cool. That's probably my favorite one now in this, in this set. Although the armadillo is pretty damn cool, I, I, even though I kind of made fun of it when we first saw it in the list. It's really, really detailed. Really nice uh, texture to it. Almost through. It's another. I just noticed there's another group of little gremlins here. Same thing as before. Different poses though, which is nice. Sinister grins. You can actually make out their faces though on that one. There's this guy. I don't know what you'd call him. It looks like he has like fish scales on his arm. Maybe he's like a sea, sea ogre. I think he actually is a sea ogre. Yeah, he is a sea ogre. Sorry, he was off screen there. Really crappy mold line all the way up his and around his thing, really thick, which kind of sucks. <coughs> Very nice mini.
I was going to try and count how many minis we had, and that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I think we're up into somewhere around 400 today that we've looked at. I lost my uh, scissors somewhere. There they are. Oh, there's a, one dude under the package here. It's a bear. Got ourselves an attacking bear. This one will be fun to paint. I love just regular beastie models, like just like animals and stuff. Because you can use them in a variety of settings. You don't have to worry about which setting you're in. There's always a bear or a wolf or a fox or a bat or a, something that people can be attacked by. I think this next one is a bigger version of those plant eating or those man eating plant things. Although I feel like it's 10 times cooler. Although I don't know how it goes together. That's not how it goes together. Um, there we go. Come on. Where is the plug in? There we go. So here he is. Weird looking plant thing. His head's probably going to fall off as I turn him. But he's really detailed. He has like little vines and stuff all over him with like little leaves or barnacles or I don't know if they're supposed to be undersea creature or living plant thingy. It's a really nice mini. These little arms and stuff come off. He's going to be annoying to fill the gaps because flat surfaces, oops, when you have a flat surface and you try to fill it with a, a little bit of green stuff, there's always a little bit of a raise even when you sand it down. It's just enough for the paint to, to notice it. So I always try to really grind away at it around also like the, the um, grind away the plastic around it as well oh man I think this is a were dragon or something like that you've noticed how many plastic things I have over there <laughs> So I'm just gonna build him first. Maybe he's a wear crocodile, or maybe just a creature from the Black Lagoon. But he looks like a wear dragon, or some sort of jungle beast. Look at this guy. He has some really like his head doesn't really connect very well, so that's gonna be a bitch to fill. Same with his tail region. He's got really nice details along his scales on the back and his arms. Um, his legs are pretty good. He's got one of these shitty bases though, which I hate. Uh, maybe we can make it work. Might uh, maybe cut him off there. Put him on a large base rather than have him on this little shitty thing. His feet might be too widespread though for that. Okay. So far, I think this expansion, the, this one and the graveyard one has been like super nice. Like they, it feels, it feels like, it felt like the core set was awesome, but some of the minis were rushed. But this expansion and the other one look like they took the time to actually uh, push their production value up, and also um, work out the kinks that they've had in the past with uh, um, previously released bone stuff. Oh, I found a little, uh, little group of weird-looking pygmy girls and some sort of iconography. It's kind of creepy. I don't really like those. They kind of spook me out a bit. 
I have no idea what this is going to be, but it looks kind of cool. Some sort of baby dragon. I think it actually is a baby dragon. I remember there being baby dragons in this set. I think it's like baby frost dragon or something. Okay, I'm not going to put him on that. I'm going to try and build him, see if he stays sticks, uh, sticks together. He does not stick together. <laughs> okay, well, I'll give you a general... I'll just tip, keep one wing on him. I'll just keep one wing on him for here. He's really nice. He comes with a pillar that he sits on. Like this. It's kind of cool. It's like a little statue. I love the details on his wing. The really hard, the hard lines. It's very nice to be able to do details really quick with this, and this stuff allows you to do that. You can just drag your brush and really get deep recesses and, and highlights, which is good. Um, same with his back. It's got some nice spines and scales. His face is a little squished. I don't know what the deal with that is, but looks like his tongue's hanging out. It's pretty cool, though. Yes, depth of color, exactly. That's exactly the wording I was looking for. Especially if you have the right light source. They're almost kind of see-through. I don't know if you can... Kind of, I don't know if it's going to show through there, but you can kind of almost see through parts of the wing, which is kind of cool. There you go, you can kind of see it on the screen there. It's a pretty cool mini. It's also always nice to have like a baby dragon to kind of mess with. <laughs> you, know, you have some you have some player characters come around. Like, oh look, it's a it's a it's a little baby dragon. You know, and then what they don't realize is if they take too long fucking around with the baby dragon, guess who shows up? Mama dragon, motherfuckers. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it, it's like a thousand pieces. I, I probably won't be able to show it to you in a constructed state. But it looks like a Chinese dragon of some kind. If I can figure out how to build it. Let's, uh... Let's try to figure this out. Okay, that goes there-ish. Okay, I think I figured it out. So I'm going to quickly try to assemble it for you. To show you... Okay, so that's its kind of cool base. There's no getting it off its base there. I don't know why they made this in 2,000 pieces. It just seems kind of silly. But he has a bunch of arms that I won't be able to put in place. But let's get his head in there so you can kind of get a sense of what kind of snaky-like dragon he is. He looks very Asian dragon. Something from, you know, Dragon Ball Z or something like that. That's what he reminds me of. Or Jafar when he turns into the snake in, uh, in Aladdin. And we're totally going to name this thing Jafar whenever we start to paint it. The Jafar snake. There's a bunch of other bits here for his arms. Like he has, like look at this, like 12 arms. <laughs> and his tail. It's a pretty cool mini. It's going to be a pain in the ass to fill those gaps because of all the detail in the, in the, in the scales. That's going to be a pain in the ass. So you don't want to be painting it and then have all these stupid lines all over it that don't, that don't make sense with the rest of the composition. Last one of this set. 
we're doing pretty good. We're about 15 minutes behind schedule. Oh yeah, steam powered golem. Perfect for Iron Kingdoms. Let me get him semi built here. He's friggin' huge. He's huge. He's like Tin Man 2.0. He's pretty damn cool. The steam knight. And he fell apart. Sorry, his arms are in pieces and his waist. James Winters! This is it here. This is the last guy of this expansion. He's pretty cool. It's going to give me some good practice with painting um, steam jacks and stuff for uh, for Warhammer. Or, I mean, uh, War, War Machine. Damn it. I, always, I keep screwing that up. So, that was the Stone Skull expansion. That was this magical box set. I think it has some of the best minis that we've seen so far in the in the unboxing today. 